In today's video, I'm going to share with you my thoughts on Dr. John's Runaway. Coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is John, and today we're going to do a shave with Dr. John's Runaway. So I'll be lathering up for a shave and sharing my thoughts and opinions on this recent release. So just a little information behind this artisan, Dr. John's Shaving Soap Company is run by John and Kim Eplin. So I actually got to meet the couple last October at the Northeast Wet Shavers Meetup. They were a lot of fun to talk to, and recently they reached out to me to see if I wanted to try this new limited edition soap called Runaway. So let me just read for you the description because I think it's really great how um, this soap came to be. Uh, everyone remembers their first crush. Sometimes it was the girl that lived down the street. Some people had a bad case of puppy love for the babysitter. The first love of my life was the queen of rock and roll. I think it's great to always have a little bit of that backstory and how scent is created. Uh, it really helps, I think, kind of give more life, give more character to a particular soap scent. So we'll talk more about Runaway as I get to the shave. But um, in addition to the soap, let me show you the rest of the gear that we're going with today. So for my brush, I'm going with a replica Simon Deluxe from Heritage Collection Shaving. You can see that I've already loaded the soap. Uh, the knot here is from Omo. It's one of their SHD knots, super high density badger. Uh, it's a two band fan. For my razor, I'm gonna go with the Gillette Super Adjustable. And this one in particular was a gift from my good friend, Ben. So thanks, Ben, for sending this over. Uh, it's loaded with a Gillette Silver Blue on its third shave. So I'm going with two days beard growth and I went for a 30 second load with a brush. So let's get the face lather started. So as I'm building this lather, I will say that the soap is of uh, average thirst. So you don't need to go crazy with amounts of water to get this dialed in. And the scent strength, I'd say is just a hair above medium. So maybe about six or 6.5 out of 10. So let's go with the first pass with the grain. And also before I forget, the super adjustable is on the five setting. So run away is in the third iteration of their soap base uh, called Volume 3. I'm glad to say that um, with each version that's come out, there's always been improvements um, pretty much across the board. In this case, sickness and post shave, I feel like have improved from Volume 2. This is not to say you should go ahead and throughout any volume one or volume two of Dr. John's that you have just to get the latest base. But just know that if you do pick up a new soap, you should see those mark improvements. All right, so for first pass is done and I'm gonna lather up for the second pass and talk a little bit more about the scent notes. All right, so the official scent notes for Runaway include cherry, carnation, clover, leather, and musk. And to my nose, in the soap at least, I'll start off with, it's a very pleasant scent. The cherry, I feel like, really stands out here. Not to say it's the strongest, but my nose kind of picks up on it in that it's not a scent that by itself you come across a lot. Maybe in like a cherry pipe tobacco, but in this combination, I'm getting cherry, um, a very kind of clean, mm, clean kind of herby, almost a green scent, and some slight florals. It's a very spring-like fragrance, I'd like to say. And as for leather and musk, the, the darker notes, I think those are pretty light as far as the overall composition goes. Yeah, if I were, if I were to boil it down, I'd go for green, cherry, floral, on that order. All right, let's go into the shade for pass two against the grain. Alright, so pass two is done, and I've really been enjoying just sticking to a two pass uh, with the grain and against the grain. Uh, I've kind of skipped on that touch of pass on my neck as 
um, I, I found that it's not too much a difference once I'm done with the shave. Uh, it wasn't really worth the extra, you know, possible irritation. All right, to finish up the shave, we have the matching aftershave splash. You can see here, that awesome label is also present. Now, the Arson aftershave splashes do kind of vary in ingredients, so I did want to mention you know, what's in here. And what we have is alcohol, witch hazel, rose water, fragrance, aloe, menthol, and alum. And one thing to note here is, I'll do a few shakes. It's funny how the scents sometimes can be very different between a soap and aftershave splash. And that's definitely the case here. So where I was describing the soap before, and I get, you know, green note, cherry, and floral. The floral in the aftershave actually becomes the um, front, becomes front and center to me. And uh, the specific one, Carnation, um, I'm not the biggest fan of it, and I think in for future uses, I think I really like the scent in the soap, but for the aftershave itself, uh, it, it might go a little too uh, too heavy on that carnation. So just a heads up, as uh, as you might be you know curious about picking this one up, I do find it interesting just because um, you know the ingredients of a soap base. It, it can and will mute certain scents in the composition. Other times, it's a pretty one-to-one -one where you go from the soap to the splash. You know, you get the same exact thing. I think with these, um, probably the more complex the scent, different ones will rise to the top. And notes are, are different too. So kind of what you detect as the strongest note may not be exactly what I am. So that being said, I'll be sure to include uh, the soap ingredients, the scent notes, and the aftershave ingredients all in the description below so you guys can check that out. Since I mentioned it before, if you have any sets in your shave then where the scent and the soap and the aftershave uh, really differ from one another, I'd love to know so please leave that in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe as that'll mean a lot to me and it'd be a really big help for the Lather Hog channel. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you again for your time, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.